Yeah, uh, well, this side of the building is a bit windy. The good thing it was completely dry, as I was afraid last night because uh, it was uh, raining a little bit. But no, overall, uh, uh, okay, the only thing for me uh, that is important, and I will be very satisfied if the people they are checking the website 100 marsorg It's uh, an organization on climate change. Climate change, okay. Uh, 100 marsorg explain that in uh, less than now 100 months there will be a point of no return and if in Copenhagen uh, end of the year the world leaders are not taking uh, any decision then uh, it could be uh, the end of the, uh, of the world not not now not in five years but this is exactly where we are where we are going I heard something like 35 minutes I mean you know I climb it's, it's the least of my uh, priority, uh, whether, it, whether it takes 30 minutes or 40 minutes. The main priority for me is to reach the top alive. Oh, well, the people, first of all, uh, they, they are asking you whether everything is okay, whether you are not tired, if you need to rest, if you need to drink. You know, the, the people, they are, they are really nice, they are really trying to help you, they are really, uh, they are really uh, giving you their best. He's been here quite a few times. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess partly due to the leniency and, and good nature of the Hong Kong police force, uh, they don't throw the book at him when he climbs a building. There, they're quite serious about things, but it's not. Uh, he doesn't get into the trouble that he might get into in places like uh, Malaysia or uh, Saudi Arabia. Well, I think he's one of the world's most unusual people. There isn't another person in the world who's doing what he's doing. There's no um, successor to him. There's no competitors. So when people hear he's in town, they, they want to see him. It's, it's uh, a you know, unique experience.